Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to briefly show you what Brix wireframes are and how you can use them. So Brix wireframes are simple modular design structures that allow you to create a rough draft of your new website relatively quickly and easily. So let's jump right into it and let's first create a new header template. And let's call it header. Choose the correct template type of header. Publish edit with bricks. You can access the wireframe templates in the top left corner in the template manager. Just select the wireframe source. And as you can see, there are already a couple of uh, ready to use templates available. But to make it a little bit easier to find the correct one, uh, we categorize them by bundle tags, types, and of course, you can also search for them. Bundles group the template by themes such as FAQs, features, contact, and so on. Tags organize the templates by function, right? You can read more about the difference between a grid and a section template or a single and template template, a template template, uh, in our academy article, right? Um, which provides much more details than this video. Template types, on the other hand, uh, represent the template types available in bricks, such as single for single posts, archives, search results, header and footer templates, and so on. Since we want to create a header template first, we simply search for header and see all the available header templates, um, which are yeah, there are currently six header templates available and let's just choose header 04. So now you're asked to import the global variables and you should definitely say, yes, I want to import the global variables since 99% of the settings are variable based um, within the templates and the theme style. So you should definitely import the variables. Uh, so let's click yes. Now you're asked to import the um, theme style which contains some basic settings such as section spacings font sizes uh con the container width and so on so you should definitely import this uh as well even if you don't use it later right and replace it with your own custom theme style um just to see what's in there Last but not least, you are asked to import the color palette, which contains some neutral colors that are used in some places, such as overlays or the header and footer backgrounds, right? Um, so yeah, just import it if you use this color palette or replace it with your own values, depends on you, right? But um, yeah, in some places, colors are needed, so just import them and you're good to go. So there we have our header template. I haven't created a WordPress menu yet, but uh, of course I can do that later and it will automatically appear up here. To make sure the template applies everywhere, I just add a condition to it, such as entire website, so the template knows where to apply and that's it. Let's move on and create a footer template in the same way, so we go back into the templates, add a new template called footer. The type is, of course, footer. We publish it, we edit it, and add the condition right at the beginning. Entire website, there we go. Now we can access the template manager and just look for a footer template. Uh, and I decide to use footer three. And there we go. Ah, and I just noticed that I haven't uh, applied a condition to my theme styles. So that's why there is no spacing at the top and the bottom. So let's just um, quickly add this as well. Add a condition, enter a website, and there we go. Now we have some spacing at the top and the bottom of this footer section. And it looks just great. So let's save. Again, there are no enough menus yet, but I can easily add them later if I want to. So the header and the footer 
are now ready. Let's uh, quickly create a homepage layout, which should contain several sections, such as a hero section, a feature section, an about us or content section, and a contact section. So let's jump right into the pages, create a new page called homepage. Hit create and let's edit it directly. Move on to the templates and what did I, did I just say? Uh, we want to create a hero section first, right? So let's just search for hero section and let's use hero section 02. So next we want to add a feature section. So let's search again for feature section. And I decide to use feature section 03. There we go. The next is or should serve as an about us section. There is currently no about uh, category. But there are content sections, which is basically the same, right? Um, so I want yeah, maybe some some text and an image grid on the right or a single image. Let's choose content section of five and click insert. There we go. And the last section that's missing is the contact section. And I decide to use contact section 02. So let's click save. And the basic structure of our homepage is now complete. Let's take a look at the front end. There we go. Let's check it in responsive mode. And then you can see that the, the font size is adapt since we're using fluid typography. The grid adapts and everything seems to be fine, right? So the next step would be to replace the placeholder text and of course the placeholder images with real content and then start styling. Keep an eye out for more videos on Brick's wireframes and happy wireframing.